Alright, we are back. So, fixed some data issues, so I've managed to have enough space for however long this quest may take. And now let's find this mysterious place that probably is past 50% Luke. Alright, let's just talk to percent Luke so we can pass him. Can I just close the gate or what? Or is he still stopping? Ah, oh, turning away, hey, nice depressing. The best look on the shores I've ever seen. That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen! Alright. Ah, <laughs> percent uh, Luke. Luke, my boy, you should know that a true gentleman never looks away from a lady when she's talking. Ah, that's another reference that he has to probably get. This is a mysterious entrance for, um, Quest, or is it just for uh, normal engineering? Now we'll find out. Yep, it's definitely for the quest. General Malpractitioner. Rum pumped crab. That's just great. Alright. Then there's no music here, which is a little annoying. Brain death rum. There's absolutely no reason why I would drink this. If I use the rum on the crab, what happens? Nothing interesting. I am not gonna keep the rum because that rum, brain death rum, just is terrible. Just kill these rum pump crabs and then go through this watery dungeon of wateriness. That apparently you need 50, 50 dungeoneering to go in for some reason, and I've got no clue why that is. Just kind of weird. All right, so let's kill the next one. Ooh, a super strength potion. Drink. Just for the heck of it. 113 strength will probably not help me at all. What's my current level? Yeah, I'm getting rather close to my 90th attack level. I eventually will get it. Because I don't play Runescape as much as you usually do now. Because there's been other things that have been happening. So, so I'll probably and eventually get it. Probably should eat a shark. Fishing. Okay, that gives me a fishing potion. Alright, sure, why not. What's this? Another rum pumped crab. Smack. I really should have my sword and God's sword with me. That would have been helpful. And that general malpractitioner is apparently throwing stuff at me. Well, at least they don't seem to be having causing me too much, too many problems. Oh, super defense. Now the crabs, unfortunately, are much more of a pain. <laughs> okay, this guy, I don't know who he is. Don't know why he's calling me Kevin, but I might as well just answer him anyway for the heck of it. And I just need to think of who I want to get. Let's just... I thought I'd just delete... Oh, no wonder. Uh, that takes care of them. Don't know what this guy is saying, but okay then. Uh, I'll just take that as nothing then. What's in here? More rum pump crabs. And another general map practitioner. What is he throwing at me anyway? Is that like a syringe? Yep, it's a syringe. Oh great, I'm poisoned. That's just great. Oh. I probably should deflect melee now, because it's starting to get a little dangerous. And I'd like to kill the one that's almost dead, thank you very much. And let's just heal our poison, even though I'll probably get poisoned again soon. And I wonder if this amount of shark that I brought is enough. Oh, these things attack fast. I didn't even notice they had such attack speed. And that's a potato seed. Which obviously will still be useful after after it's been drowned. And apparently this follows the abandoned design of floors. Well, does uh, my practitioner give me anything? Nope, just coins. Let's just see. 
this, open the door, and hopefully we won't find some sort of boss, and another rum pumped crab, and another general practitioner, and killing crabs. Wow, he actually hit me. You know, let's just, because I've got the fuck me out, let's take out the malpractitioner for now. And that's a dead, oh, a dead brewer. Yeah, I think they'd be dead if they were drowning like this. Ooh, prayer potion. I'll just drink that rather soon. Though I don't know why I would be drinking things when they, all, when they were dropped by a malpractitioner. It's kind of odd. Alright, let's search the dead brewer. It looks like this brewer didn't make it. I'll see if I can find his name badge. You find the brewer's name badge and his name is Trent. Nice little boost of prayer. Let's see if there aren't any good things to like search around here. Fish. A discus fish. Discus fish? Isn't a discus like a Greek frisbee thing? Angelfish. Hmm. Alright, look around and search for the malpractitioner. Take out the malpractitioner because he's the only one that actually can do damage while my prayer's up. And then attack, of course, the crabs. Because crabs give me good stuff. And I've been poisoning it, that's just great. Coins, killing crabs, because crabs are good to kill, because crabs are annoying, and when their claws do 200 damage, it sucks. Alright. Hey, that's a shank potion. Drink! Don't really need the super defense that much whenever I've got prayer on, but eh, it was it was useful anyway. Okay, so that's another dead crab. I really wish to get like get some music for this here. I could see a, a few good dungeoning variants that could be used here. At least just have like the dungeoning. At least have like the dungeoning ambient music that they've had before. I mean that'd be nice too. Alright, takes care of that crab. Who hey, a dwarf wheat, those are like 9k. That's a crab, so let's take out the practitioner. Take some rum little crab, click the grower, I know. That takes out the practitioner. Now let's take out the crab. Uh, it's a tarman. Nothing that useful there. These guys have such ludicrous attack speed. I mean, wow. Okay, I'm fighting this thing. Come on, you can smack him harder than that, Kirby. You've got like 112 strength. You can do much more damage than that. Right. Well, let's just open the door and show me the way. Nha a sh. I don't know how I even thought of that reference in the first place, but oh, well, why am I attacking a crab when I'm about to fuck me on? There we go. Kill the practitioner, because he's the only one that actually can do damage at this point, as easily shown here. He, he's, he, how is he, how, he... He just had two of those hits in a row. Kind of annoying. Didn't they say they were going to, like, change around defense a bit or something soon? Again? Ah, well, either way. I can't I can't remember. It, must, it might have been maybe it was in one of the behind the scenes or something, or... Oh, oh great, a raw lobster, because a raw lobster is definitely really useful right now. When I'm underwater. And I seem to have suffered a little bit of lag there. And this one, I, maybe when he says taste some rum, little crab, it ups the attack speed of the, of the crab. Alright, well there's the second dead door, and there's some more lag, and... Dead Brewer, search the name. We got Trent, and we have... Looks like this brewer didn't make it. I'll see if I can find his name badge. Rory. You mean like the award for the most clever use of the word Belgium in a film? 
that's another reference that would be awesome if you get that. But, um, his name is Rory. Well, we have to go through the third door where I expect I'll find the third brewer. And there appears to be another general malpractitioner in here, so let's kill him. And there are, of course, a few rum-pumped crabs, as usual. He will probably up the attack speed of one of them before anything else happens. And, oh, come on, die already! Much better. Good practitioner. Be dead. And stay dead. Ranging potion. That isn't really useful for me right now. Alright, so let's just kill these rum pump crabs. Let's have them both attack me, because I've got deflect on, so then that way the deflection will do a tiny bit of damage to each of them at a time. And I'll probably want to restore our parallel a little bit. Alright, so that gets that. Alright, that's one crab down, one more to go. And yeah, I really should have brought my starter and god sword. That'd be really helpful the whole healing thing. Oh, killing crabs, killing crabs. And deflecting their attacks with curses. And yeah. I can't believe like I'm only 80 prayer. <sighs> I wonder if I'll ever actually max out my stuff in this game. Alright, well, this should be the final room. I'll eat another shark so I can then charge and find the practitioner. Practitioner! I just saw a crab go click click rower, so I'm, s I'm assuming that it just got the attack speed buff, which it did. It's almost funny how fast they attack. Oh great, now both of them have the attack speed buff. Which of course means that once I actually kill this practitioner, then I'll just stand right near them both so they both attack me, and then... They'll be like, lol, 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 I have deflect on, you can't do any damage to me. Killing the crabs, killing the crabs. And this crab should be almost dead. And no, it really isn't, but come on, I should be able to do much more damage than this. Only a hundred, man, I'm all... I swear, like, I thought, I thought I could do much more damage than this, but I'm only doing these low numbers. What the heck is going on? Do these guys have, like, super damage soaking or something? No, I thought you could see, though, if damage was soaked. Or, um, I can't even remember now. Either way, that's the third dead brewer, so I should be able to get his stuff and... Strange wall. I've got a feeling there's gonna be a boss that comes out of that wall or something. Let me check that strange wall. That strange wall looks... A yeah, it looks like a dungeoneering, like boss exit or something. Anyway, let's eat this, drink this, and search the dead brewer. Find his name badge, his Jimmy. Jimmy's Captain Brain Death. Finally, we're happy in news. That strange wall. There's got to be something that's going to come out of that wall. But yeah, no sign of anything. What's with that wall? Something's weird about it. Exit portal. We got Trent, Rory, and Jimmy. And now I can finally get my usual stuff back on. Wearing diving stuff is annoying. At least I didn't have to swim around. Swimming around is kind of annoying a lot of the time because it's just like, hey, look, I'm swimming around trying to find these old crabs and get a crab claw. I can't remember what quest I was swimming around for. Hey, what are you doing out there? Nothing. Kevin Dolly's new land of his own as a compound. Get yourself back in here, you're fine. What, you think I can't beat you easily, considering that you're just like half wood, half zombie, and I've been able to dispatch zombies with extreme ease? Well, either way, let's just get the proof, because we have their names. Where do you think I'm going? I'm going up the stairs. What do you think? Going up the stairs and going up the stairs. Going up the stairs and going up the stairs and going up the sideways stairs. Alright, let's talk to Captain Brain Death. Clock for surrender, of course. Ah, what is it, Captain Brain Death? Oh, I found the theme missing Bruce. I can tell from your eyes, it's good news, lass. Let's have it. Roy, Tr Jimmy, and Trent, all dead. I'm sorry. Ah, I feel as much, Captain Brain Death. What's going on down there? Well, the place is full of zombie surges injecting rum into the wildlife. The crabs on there are giant and very, very aggressive now. So that's what the swarm is doing with me around. Uh, they get name more from me. Of that, you can rest easy. Anyway, lass, back to your business. I 
the Twigger Knight special for you right here. But even you are getting without swearing the oath. You think yourself ready, Carrot Lady? The oath? You're about to swear it carries with an untold weight. I think you'll be interested with Miss Carrot to your grave. Ready to swear the oath? I've got a bad feeling that doing this will get me into a fight, but I'll do it anyway. Yes, I'm ready. Then every after me. I carry that to thee, swear to thee. I carry the guy to thee, swear to thee. What happens at sea, stays at sea. What happens at sea, stays at sea. None shall learn of the oath from me. None shall learn of the oath from me. And if anyone does, Captain Braindeath will smash my face in. And if anyone does, Captain Braindeath will smash my face in? With an anchor. With an anchor? I thought I was the other one with that anchor. And he's definitely not kidding. And he's, he, he's very definitely not kidding. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alright. The oath will be spoken. Very good. Captain Braindeath has a securely locked chest. Yeah, what you came for, lass? Take it back to Boon Teach. He has the key. How does he have the key? Uh, well, pirate spell sheet. Let's go back to Molson Harmless. Man, space to the north of me. So, a random pirate can come and smack me on the head again. Hmm. Ow! Pirate Pete smacks you on the head and takes you around everywhere. Hey, a penguin! I mean, that oath was just kind of odd. <laughs> Alright, let's just get the long drop. Okay, running about. This video is probably gonna swap soon again. <sighs> oh, I'm just gonna skip through the dialogue here. Take a seat. And I fall through. I mean, it's pretty obvious as a thing under the table. Is the table like just how does it magically disappear like that? Built each. What is it, lass? I have it. Whatever it is. You have it? Yes. How did I take everything today? 